Hello traders and welcome to our market update video. It's Thu Nopan here, founder of Master of the Markets, Illustrious Conference and the Traders Open Day. So here we are on the 24th of Jan 2020 on our market update video. Can you believe it? Time is already flying. It's going to be the end of January. Can you believe it traders? So let's keep on top of time, all right? And let's keep on uh, checking on our progress. So here we are, right? So today's topic, we always will cover one topic. So today's topic... It's going to be about the three top trader mistakes, okay? Three top trader mistakes, okay? Right, three top trader mistakes. Right, now, what is the first most highest common mistake that traders do? Now, you see, over coaching 20,000 people all over the world, conferences and live trading that we have done and manage people's accounts and everything, what we have observed is that even traders who have been trading for 7, 10 years, 15 years even, these three mistakes keep coming up again and again. And we get people in our traders' base camp room coming and telling us that, you know what, Tiro, um, that they can't make money even after 10 years. And they don't know why. And the first most biggest one is because they do not have any kind of quantification. Okay. Now, quantification. Now, how do you actually know if you have a quantified strategy? How do you know if you have a quantified strategy? What's the litmus test? The litmus test is whether you have any doubt or subjectivity when you want to enter into a particular trade. Is this right? Is this wrong? If you have that question, then there's no quantification. Okay, Your strategy rules are not quantified. And one of the biggest things, traders, that we have struggled over many years to quantify is actually the highs and the lows of the market. Not necessarily that this will be the best way of quantification. There's also an a, a way to answer that too. I'm not going to get into detail in that video over here on how to answer the question that this way of quantification or swing high and swing lows is the best. But you must have some kind of quantification, especially highs and lows, because they're so important for the next part which is again a big mistake that traders make, okay? And it all arises from the first part. If you have no quantification, then you also would not have any kind of consistency, okay? No chance, right? Because if something is not quantified, how can you then get consistent? If your health fitness instructor did not give you a specific plan in how to lose weight, then how can you be consistent? Okay, if you did not say that you've got to run five kilometers every day, ideally in the morning or in the evening, and you got to eat less than 200 calories, let's say, of food every day. Okay, I just made that up. But if that is quantified, then you can also have a chance of being consistent. However, the second thing, the second mistake, right? Even if you have a quantified strategy, even if you have, you still can have no consistency because sometimes we underestimate this mind which is powered by fear and greed that it can fall into inconsistency. And even professional traders like us even fall into that trap from time to time even if a fully quantified plan with all risk management in place because the mind can play you out the emotional part of our mind is so strong to overpower the intellect and would help it deviate but however with constant practice and constant routine in place we can get the intellect and the emotional part of us to be aligned so that we are always trading in the zone to be consistent in our execution Right, then it leads to the third part, which is again another big mistake that traders have. They might have quantification, they might have consistency. Unfortunately, they do not have the third part. And even guys who've been trading for 10, 15 years, they would not have this. And that is they do not have no trade journal. 
no trade journal to review their statistics. And in terms of the trade journal we are talking about, the thing emphasis we are doing here is cumulative results. You must have cumulative results to give you confidence of what you are doing or you won't have the confidence to move forward. Unfortunately, most traders always say, you know what, I just want to test my own system. I just want to see how it works. I just want to see how it goes forward, right? Now, if you do not have your quantification, if you do not have validity of statistics, you cannot have consistency, you always will have a doubt. And if no trade journal, you cannot reproduce your results because you don't have anything cumulative. This won't build your confidence. And later on, if you want to get money from other people and set up a hedge fund, it's definitely not going to be possible because they'll be asking you all of these questions. Because you see, as an investor wants to put some money, they need to have confidence that the system is able to be reproduced and you can get consistent performance with very, very low minimal drawdown and that their money is not at risk. Okay, so they will ask you all of that. So have this all covered, but these are the three top trader mistakes. You want to overcome them, have a quantified strategy where you got no doubt in executing it. Two, be consistent. Third, have a trade journal where you're monitoring your stats and you're confident of how your system is performing and that your concept and your objective is valid and it's recurring in the market year after year. Okay, good. So that's to do with the topic for today. Now let's carry on into our performance. Uh, but before that, let me just do a quick run through over the markets. Dollar Swiss is still a little bit of um, upside towards still in a downtrend. Uh, is this phase over? Is the open equity over? Highly, more or less. It's a bit of an anomaly phase with our confirmation bar coming actually before uh, the um, actually after the highest point. Now over here you can see in um, this here is an up move. It's still retracing dollar yen, still not move, making its uh, move to the upside. Now cable on the other hand, what do we have actually over here? It's still an SMC. It's a market compression as you can see over here. It's a lower high over here and that's a higher low. So it's compressing, right? If you know patterns, then it's called symmetrical triangle. Now you can see why it's so important to quantify them, uh, because then you can draw your triangles all the same time, all year long. Here, downtrend, solid downtrend over here, Euro dollar really going for it after the ECB conference yesterday. Downtrend over here too. Euro yen um, uptrend over here, it's going towards its last low over here, as we can see. Um, from here, okay. No EC also would have taken this in a trend runner um, strategy, so we can't take that. Bitcoin, um, still an uptrend, still having some support over the 8500 level, uh, which is what we have put over here. FTSE, still maintaining its strength 7532, uh, still an uptrend, showing a little bit of weakness around this level here, where it's struggling to go forward. All right, good. Now, next, what else we have? Now we got the oil, still going for a bit of a dip over here, $54 at the moment. Gold, still around 1,500 level, still maintaining some strength and strong bullish trend. And the Dow is hovering around the 29,000 level, okay? A bit of come off the high, a little bit of buying strength, still showing a little bit of weakness, okay? First primary here is what we got highly probably towards the downside is what we are looking for, okay, in terms of probabilities. Okay, great. I guess that's that on the market run. Now, in terms of our performance, so let's go to our performance for this week, traders. In terms of our elite uh, room, so let me see. So elite room. In terms of swing profits, what do we have? Swing profits, we had, this is swing profits. This is a smart money, we, we didn't have any trades. Swing profit closed on 22nd Jan, we had a 0.38% uh, profit over here, a small profit, we caught the turning point. Prime profit systems, what did we have? Uh, over here, we actually took a little bit of a hit, a minus 1% over here on dollar Swiss. And finally, on the OE runner system, we had a really nice run over there. 
uh, at about 1.53%. We caught that uh, particular move over there. So overall, if we add that all up together, traders, we've got 0.38, then we got minus 1, then we got plus 1.53%. So overall, what did we get? We got 0.91% uh, up in the elite room. Okay, now that's for the elite room. Now, how about the live trading room? The live trading room, we have one trade, which was a money bars trade. And that was actually taken on the euro dollar. And we actually had a minus 1% on it. Okay, the uh, money bars trade on the elite room was minus 1. And overall, uh, minus 1 plus 0 0.09. We are actually down a little bit of minus 0.09%. Okay, so minus 0.09% uh, is what we finished all this week. So that's good. Drawdowns are kept very low. As you know, when the profits come, then you can override the losses much more easily. Always remember, traders, as professionals, always, always, always focus on on the downside cap it as and make it as low as possible so that when the winds come the upside is looked after itself by your rules uh, they will override them really fast okay all right great i guess that's pretty much that from me in terms of from this video and as you always say traders till the next time stay disciplined follow your trading plan and keep trading like a master